Oh, what's up, guys? So I know, yes, um, this is a uh, Fortnite missed opportunities, but um, I just, I'm gonna talk about the recent missed opportunities, and then I'm gonna talk about other missed opportunities with Fortnite. So obviously, there is at least three most recent missed opportunities with either bringing old skins back, bringing new skins in. Or just doing something for it in general, even if it's just doing a simple game mode. So, as y'all know, John Wick Chapter 4 came out and on Friday. And we did not get the John Wick stuff back, whether it was the game mode or a new stuff or anything like that. So that's a big missed opportunity because I think because uh, there's a lot of missed opportunities with Fortnite, but I'm just gonna go. This video might be about 10 to 15 minutes long, so if you're gonna, if you can please watch through all this video so you can know every little bit of all the missed opportunities of everything, and comment if you watch through all this video, and that will be very much appreciated. So. John Wick Chapter 4, it, what makes this more of a big missed opportunity is Fortnite's in Chapter 4, and John Wick just came out with Chapter 4. So, big picture right there is it should have been, it should have came out. Whether they brought both skins back or not, they should have brought John Wick back, or possibly at least brought the John Wick game mode back. They could definitely do that. They could make Mega City like the uh, the safe place or whatever. Or put in the John Wick thing. Just bring, you know teleport it in there like you do with the uh, Loot Lake or whatever. And that will be that. So big missed opportunity. Um, it. However, if this does come out within a couple days, which I still think it might be able to. Then I will probably take this video down or, you know, edit it or try to figure out how to edit it or anything. So let's go to the next missed opportunity. So another missed opportunity is Shazam. It just came out as well this month. Now... I can give you a couple of reasons why it's a missed opportunity. Number one, we have Black Adam, so why can't you... I understand if they can't make all the Shazam skins, but they could have made, you know, just Shazam himself. Because we've got Black Adam, which is basically Shazam. Just change colors. That's all you gotta do. But, um, this is another missed opportunity. Uh, what day did it come? Uh, release, release date. So it came out on the 17th. So that was a missed opportunity. I don't know if they, the problem with Fortnite is they could, they have so much that they could do, but they don't do it. Seriously, Fortnite, hire me if you see this, because I would make every skin for about every movie that is good. Shazam's a good movie. John Wick is obviously a good movie. So, hmm. So, I think there's about maybe three or four recent things that I'm going to go over. That was number two. Now, let's go over this. So, as y'all know, these new Resident Evil skins came uh came out last week i believe uh they came out on i think uh thursday or saturday or something and what did they not do they didn't bring back the original resident evil skins like they could have even if they just brought it for a day or something they could have because i keep seeing a lot of people and i'm pretty sure reinforced not re in Fortnite, or one of the Fortnite people that leak out the item shop about two or three hours early before it, uh, it hits, they did do a video of most wanted skins in Fortnite, or most wanted skins to return, and the old Resident Evil skins was in that video. So, the big missed opportunity is they could have brought it back, 
what doesn't make any sense is I've seen them do Dragon Ball skins. Well, yeah, they came out for a day, brand new skins, you know, the Gohan and stuff. But then the old Dragon Ball skins came back with it about the about the next day or two. So why couldn't they do that with these skins? That's the big missed opportunity here. So uh, let's let's go over this. This is one. Yeah, okay. So, another biz. Now, this is not a recent one. So, I'm getting into the not not recent one. I think the next one will be like half half recent and half not. But, um, they really missed out twice. Not just once, twice. Because they put out this movie. Then they remade it and put it back out. So, they had two chances. To put out basically Andrew Garfield and Toby plus the Sinister Six. But what makes me go over this more is now we have a lizard skin. So that means they could have at least put the lizard in. They they had him ready or something. Well, that could possibly be coming up. And they could have gave us the movie Green Goblin instead of the comic book Green Goblin. They could have did so much. They did. That's two missed opportunities, by the way. So, that's something that shouldn't be done. Actually, I think that's about it. But, um, really, I think John Wick would have brought, they would have made a lot of money from it. Especially if they made him in a bundle. Because you know how some old skins, if they have a, at least a, a pickaxe and stuff like that. Um, and it's separate, and they put it into a bundle, the, it could, it could have been great, it could have been great, we could have, Fortnite, especially, you know what would have brought more people back? Bringing back the John Wick uh, event, or whatever, the, um, game mode, that was fun to play, and I loved every second of it, so Fortnite, please bring that game mode back, and, uh, if you made it, through the whole video thank you so much please leave a comment saying you did and um uh if there's any more missed opportunities i know i know they could have brought back the og renegade raider but i'm not really going to talk too much in that i'll talk a little bit f for bonus right now um they did now i mean they could bring back the old re renegade raider and the glider and everything because they basically already have it, but as the Blaze skin, they have a whole bundle for it, which is basically the exact same thing as Renegade Raider, just with fire or whatever. So that's a missed opportunity, and they definitely could do it now since they have the OG map. It would be interesting if they made an OG, in Creative 2.0, they made an OG item shop where you could actually use your V-Bucks, or maybe you could use Crown Lens or something like that. Or maybe you could earn points. Like, say, you, you in creative, you can earn, uh, if you earn enough, like, say you, there's two things I'm thinking of. Maybe you can earn about, maybe to get, like, a skin, you need, like, a hundred, maybe 500,000 XP to get it. Or maybe you can earn, like, a thousand points or, you know, a hundred thousand points or something like that, or... 100 kills or something, then you could be able to purchase something because there's no crowns in creative. So you'd either be able to exchange with kills, points, XP, or something like that. Now, if you exchange with XP, it's only from the creative XP that you earn. Now, I do think that um, they should make it to, I don't know if it, that you can earn XP in creative 2.0, and if you can, I'd say. Like, this should make this a thing. Like, you should, when you earn create in XP and Creator 2.0, it should be staying there, and then you have to go somewhere and say, hey, claim this, and actually put it on my levels, or, you know, exchange this for a skin or a backlink or something. That's how I think they should do it. 
that's just a little theory that I think they could do. Creative 2.0, it's got just about anything and everything. So, anyways, guys, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.